What's up, YouTube? This is Miles B. I am here. God bless you. I hope that you are doing well. I have a message that God wanted me to share with you that he dropped in my spirit this morning. You have to hear me. God can turn rejects into mighty men and mighty women. God can turn those who feel outcast into mighty men and mighty women. You are a mighty man of valor. You are a mighty woman of valor in Jesus name, because there was a story where King David was running from Saul. King Saul, he had it out for David. David had to leave and the Bible says that all the men that were distressed with the, the trouble that was going on in the government, and they didn't like the rulership of King Saul because of the direction it was going. And these men were like outcasts. God took these men and made them into mighty men of valor with David under the right leadership, under the hand of the Lord, with the favor of the Lord upon them, these men became great, mighty men of valor. You can become great in the eyes of the Lord and amongst men when you serve God and let God lead you into what you're supposed to do. I pray that we can continue that in spite of things that are going a certain way and you seeing the evil and you seeing people that have allegiance to doing things wrong, that you can make sure that you know that God has reserved 7,000 people that have not bowed down to Baal. That's what God said in the scriptures to Elijah. Elijah thought he was the only person who served God. He thought he was the only one left. He thought everybody had just went about their own way and were just serving Satan. And God said, listen, I have 7,000 people that have not bowed down to the Baal idol. And I want you to know that he used that word 7,000 because seven is, 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 a, is a specific number. It's like the completion. On the seventh day, he rested. He said 7,000. And Jesus Christ himself also said, how many times, when Peter asked him, how many times should I forgive my brother? Seven times? Jesus said, no, 70 times, seven times. It's like an infinity number of finality. And I just want you to know that, that God is, is, is with all of us through what we see that is negative and what we see that is good. And I want you to know that if, if, and this specific word for everybody today is that God is turning us into mighty men and mighty women of valor. Do not forget that. You are a mighty man or a mighty woman of valor. Don't forget that. Do not forget that. You need to say that to yourself. God is fashioning me to be great. My name, my name is Miles B. Great. You can be great. My message is for you to be great, to believe that God has greatness in you, that you can unlock that you can have good success and that you can go forward with the purpose God has for you. So when we answer to God, he says, well done, thou good and faithful servant. You have been faithful over a few. Now I'm gonna make you ruler over many because you've displayed the responsibility. You've displayed the, the, the courage. You've displayed the characteristics to step out in faith. He's already gone before us. And if God be for us, who can be against us? We are supposed to be his witnesses. And it's just so funny. I, yesterday, God just put somebody in my in my path and I speak to them and I give them encouragement. They want to continue with their marriage that was going through a little rough spot for a moment. Maybe you're going through a rough spot in your marriage. Maybe you're going through a rough spot in your life. Maybe you're going through a rough spot Life has rough spots. Life has potholes. Life has areas where you have to stay up at night. Life has areas where you might not get a full night's rest because of the stress, but God is still good. God is still great. God is still working it out for our good. He's working it out for our good and I choose to believe as far as me and my house, we shall serve, we shall believe, we shall follow, we shall obey the King of Kings and Lord of Lords, Jesus Christ. We shall follow the Lord. I want to be numbered amongst the righteous rather than enjoy the pleasures of sin for a short season. That's what Moses said. He said it the best. 
You know, people say 100, that was 100. I would rather be numbered amongst the righteous rather than enjoy, you hear that enjoyment, the pleasures of sin for a short season. Those who are enjoying sin, those who are involved with the deceptive Masonic Lodge and different things that are that 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 give you what you think the power the prestige the community the brotherhood these things are short lived these things are short term these things will not last the things that will last faith hope charity these three joy love and peace in the holy spirit these are the things that the kingdom of god is founded on and they will last Heaven and earth will pass away, but God's word will never pass away. The things that we are sharing, the hope that we give through the word of God, through Jesus Christ, it will last for eternity because our souls last for eternity. Our souls endure for eternity. And the only thing that you can take with you into eternity is either your sins or the works of righteousness. Those are the only things that will last and that the works of righteousness will be tested. It will be tested to see what type and what sort they are, whether they're gold or precious stones, or whether they're wood or hay or stubble. The gold and precious stones are the things that we've done in secret, our motives. Where is it coming from? Do we want to be seen? Is it because we have something that we're trying to fill, some type of void? Or are we truly doing this for souls, for the Lord, for the obedience of God and the obedience of Christ so that the gospel can be preached around the whole globe and that you can make an impact and an influence on, on someone to be led to Christ? It does my heart well and I shed a tear every single time I hear about somebody who's gotten saved from hearing one of my videos. It keeps me going. It's my fuel. It keeps me going. It's my energy. And I pray that God can put you in a direction, put you in a mindset, because it really is a mindset. You have to have the mind. I notice that every time I am on track, every time that I am on a rhythm, every time that I am focused in a groove, in a grace zone, in a, in a, in a good flow, that something comes up to try to stop it. Something comes up to try to take away from the momentum that you have in Christ. And I'm here to tell you that the devil is a liar. Once you get your mind made up, that it doesn't matter what happens, it doesn't matter what's going on, I'm gonna to continue to get into my prayer closet. I'm gonna to continue to wake up and read God's word. I'm gonna to continue to put out content that can help souls, whether it's one or whether it's a million. I'm gonna to continue to seek God first and his kingdom and his righteousness and all these things will be added. Devil, whatever you throw at me, no weapon formed against me shall prosper. I might lose some sleep, but I'm gonna lose some sleep and continue to seek God. I'm gonna lose some sleep and continue to read the word. I'm gonna lose some sleep and continue to seek the, the kingdom of righteousness and all his things being added unto me and preaching the gospel and doing everything God's called me to do because this is what the life is. This is what life is. Life is not a pleasant thing for those who are trying to continue to press, to press forward, to press to the prize of the mark of the high calling to press into greatness, to press into the mountaintop. Climbing, climbing is an effort of going against gravity. Gravity can try to knock you down. The rock might not be stable, but you better have those other three grabbing on saying that no matter what, I'm not falling. And God is our anchor into that mountain. So that even when we feel like we're gonna fall, his power holds us up in the name of Jesus Christ and you get your footing again, and you get back up again, and you keep on climbing because you got, you got a path you gotta take. You got a mountain you gotta climb. You gotta get to the top so you can show other people that this is possible. I might not have seen it before in my life, but I'll be the first person to do it in Jesus' name. You need to have that, that motivation, that dedication, that obsession with God's purpose and plan being done in your life. You need to have it every single day. Come hell or high water, every single day. And even if you don't see me, you better believe I'm on my grind every single day because that's what this life is about. That's what this life is about. It's a God is testing us through life to prove us 
to both angels in heaven that were worthy of himself. Once we get to heaven, that's it. There's nothing else you can do. You set in stone. While you're in earth, you can develop to the most possible. And after that, that's it. If you don't know who Jesus is and you haven't believed in Christ, what you treasure up for yourself is called sin. And the sins also, they have a treasure of wrath, how much wrath the person's gonna get when they get judged. But once you believe in Christ and you are obedient to Christ, and I'm persuaded that the people that I'm talking to right now, this is my obedient folk. This is my obedient people. These are my people that have aspirations, that ambitions, that have dreams that God has put in your heart that you know he wants you to do. And he won't let you stay in the place that you're at. He won't let you stay complacent. He wants you to move forward. I would rather be exhausted and tired and happy that I did some progress with myself and comfortable and complacent. That's just the way that I'm wired. I watch all types of motivational videos, all types of motivational heroes of faith in the Bible. This is possible. It is more than possible. It is already done. We just have to get there. We're on a journey to what we see in the future. So I want you to be encouraged. I want you to take great faith. I want you to know that the works of righteousness will build up for us an eternal weight of glory that we cannot even imagine. We cannot even fathom the ripple effect that we are gonna have in eternity of the people that we've touched, of the lives that we've helped, of the people that we've pointed to Christ, of the people that you've prayed for, how God has sent those answers. Because you were faithful, how many other people were inspired to be faithful? Because of what you've done, how much it impacted the kingdom of heaven on earth being imputed to other people and pushing back the forces of darkness, pushing back the lies of the enemy and being good and salt in this world. You are salt with savor. You are anointed and chosen by God. Believe that and go and be great in Jesus' name. This is Miles B. I hope this touches your soul. Make sure you like and share this. There'll be more content coming out. I love you all with the blessings and the love of the Lord. Be blessed. Peace.